Okay, what's up you guys? Tell me why I have been in my uploading era. I feel like I've been so consistent on all my platforms recently. I've been uploading on my YouTube. I finally got the swing of things on TikTok and of course doing daily updates on my Instagram and my Instagram stories. And I honestly feel like a big reason why I've been so consistent on all my platforms recently is because I've been trying to invest more time into myself in all facets of my life. Whether that is doing my hair and makeup, even if I'm just staying in the house, going out and getting lunch with my friends, doing my self-care pamper nights and of course just taking the time to do the things I love because I feel like when we get so busy it's so easy to put the things that we love on the back burner which is honestly really sad if you think about it like the things that we love to do are unnegotiable in our life like we can rationalize not doing them anyways I say all of that to say I have a point to this that is kind of why I'm doing today's video which if you read the title of course is a self-care motivation and self-care motivation is always needed either when you're really really down in the dumps and you have no motivation to be found or whether you have so much motivation and you're on a high and videos like this are just inspiring to keep going that is kind of what this video is for so come along with me as we do a little self-care motivation day look at how muggy it looks outside crazy the rain finally subsided i don't know if you can see it's still raining but it's just like a light drizzle right now but it was like down bad at around like three in the morning like i literally woke up because of how loud it was raining and i literally started praying because i don't know why it was three in the morning i was like definitely out of it but hearing that rain my mind immediately went to all the people that are living outside and all the cats and dogs because it was pouring so i literally started praying and crying at 3 a.m story of my life so first thing oh i just fell over so first things first to kickstart this video i do want to go to target i'm gonna pick up some stuff for a dinner and also i've been seeing this sleepy girl mocktail all over my tiktok y'all know me and tiktok consumerism we locked in. So I'm gonna go pick up some ingredients for that and just whatever else I need. And Target is always, always a fun time for me, not my wallet. So let's go. You don't know, baby. Cause when you hold me and kiss me slowly, it's the sweetest thing. Yeah. And it don't change if I had it my way. Cause you would know that you are You're the coffee that I need in the morning You're my sunshine in the rain when it's pouring Won't you give yourself to me, give it all oh, I just wanna see Alrighty, I just got home, secured the bag, and I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of everything that I got. And everything that I got, I will be using in today's video as well. So I picked up some plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. I actually made a pizza yesterday, and I made the dough out of Greek yogurt, and it was actually so fire, and it's a great way to sneak in protein. I potentially might be making yogurt bark tonight, so I definitely needed the jumbo one, because I'm making so many recipes that use this. I picked up some strawberries, because I put this in basically everything, but once again, I might make a yogurt bark tonight, and these will definitely be needed and look at how huge these strawberries are like every single one of them is the size of my palm and i don't know why but it made me so happy in the store saying that so i had to pick up this case in specific picked up some graham crackers i love making like a cheesecake flavored yogurt and so i like to crush up these crumbs and sprinkle it in i'm trying to eat healthier this year so as you'll see with a lot of the stuff i make i just make the same foods that i used to eat but just a healthier version of that i went to both trader
Trader Joe's and Target just because my Trader Joe's and Target is a university one and so if you've ever been to those type of university grocery stores you know they don't carry everything so I had to go to both but I also picked up this 100% red tart cherry juice like I said I really really want to make the sleepy girl sleepy time mocktail and to go with my sleepy girl mocktail I also picked up a poppy I got one in the flavor raspberry rose for dinner tonight I wanted to make some salmon so I picked up a huge slab as well as some broccoli because you always need a side of greens and then I've always watched this girl make dessert bowls on her TikTok and I personally am not a dessert person I don't really have that big of a sweet tooth I like very savory foods but she makes the dessert bowls look so good so I wanted to make one tonight in honor of today's video and I don't own any candy so I picked a bunch up I got some of the best Trader Joe's dark chocolate covered pretzels these are so freaking delicious my favorite M&Ms these ones are the peanut ones whereas my best friend Alexis would call them M&Ms and of course the little checkout line always gets me I saw these dark chocolate peanut butter cups peanut butter cups are one of my favorite candies put these in the freezer so good for the sleepy girl mocktail you're supposed to add magnesium powder tell me why the little powder capsules were twenty dollars and the tablets were eight so i was like okay no brainer i'm just gonna get the actual tablets and i might crush them up to make a powder in my breaking bad era but yeah i was like twenty dollars when i can get the same exact thing in tablet version for ten yeah bye and now the next step is i need to clean my bathroom really really want to take a bath tonight and i cannot be in the bathtub if it wasn't cleaned that day so i'm gonna put this away and then i'll meet you guys in my bathroom so for cleaning my bathroom honestly i didn't want to do too much i just wanted to tidy since i already deep cleaned last week but i started off by putting my hair up because we were getting down to that business and then i began to move everything just off the counter or in its rightful spot taking my method bathroom cleaner i use this basically as an all-purpose cleaner as my surface cleaner for <laughs> almost all my surfaces in my bathroom and then i took one of these auto towelettes and i wiped it down and i like these because these are really really absorbent and i just wiped down all the counter from all like the dirt and grime that was building up especially when i do skincare or brush my teeth my counter can get so so dirty just from all that product buildup so i really made sure that i was wiping it all down and i just think it's so crazy how much product builds up so so quickly like i literally just cleaned my sink like last week but directly for the sink i used a mixture of comet which has a little bit of bleach in it and some dawn dish soap and then i'll take that with a sponge and just scrub at it i wanted to make more cleaning videos on my channel just because i know that's actually what a lot of people like to watch but honestly i don't really have a special method when i clean nor do i use very extravagant products i personally don't really watch cleaning videos but i watched a few to kind of just understand what people were doing and some people have like really really cool tools and i don't do all that i just use like a dish soap and some basic cleaners but i definitely can do more like deep cleaning videos in the future and try to get like the fun stuff And then I'll take a Clorox disinfectant wipe. I like this because it has a really nice lemony set. And I'll just wipe down the surface of my counter. And then when I'm done with that, I'll go in with some Windex just to give it a nice shine. I'll also make sure to emphasize on the metal surfaces just because that's where I want it to be really, really shiny. Been gone so long, forgotten what your face looks like. And then I went into my bathtub and honestly this was kind of a fail I don't have many clips to share with you guys because I was blocking the camera the entire time I didn't even notice but I just basically used just soap the method cleaner at Comet And then I went in with a clean sponge and just wiped everything down I like to get these sponges from the Dollar Tree just because I only use them for one use And then I'll just toss them afterwards But I just really really scrubbed my tub because I could not take a bath if my tub was not cleaned that day Still see it into my ears. And then when I was I'm done, I decided to make some dinner. So I headed into the kitchen, washed my hands really thoroughly, got to sing happy birthday. And then I turned my air fryer on because we were going to make salmon. I get my salmon from Trader Joe's. I like to get the BBQ cut because it's already cut for you. Um, I'll wash it because I hate that slimy feeling on fish. 
and then I'll pat it dry and then cut off the little scales at the bottom. I know some people like to boil their salmon in hot water to get the scales off, but I'm too lazy. And then I literally got my own neck with this. I poured my seasoning on and I didn't even realize my salt was not on the sprinkle setting and it just dumped out, but it's okay because it didn't taste too salty. But I put a mixture of salt, garlic powder, pepper, salmon rub, and a little bit of tamarind on there. My mom taught me to put tamarind on my salmon and it tastes so freaking good. But I'll make sure to get all the surfaces, all the sides, and thoroughly rub that in. And then I'll pop it in the air fryer. And while it's cooking in the air fryer, I just put my broccoli in my microwave and then i'll cook some spinach on the stove my favorite greens to have with salmon is definitely broccoli and spinach just because i feel like asparagus takes too long so once it's done i'll take the salmon out of the air fryer plop it on top of the greens and then squeeze some fresh lemon on there and it looks so so yummy it's so fire i love 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 salmon i love 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 this meal because it's so easy to make and it's so comforting too now getting more on into the pamper section, I'm going to light a candle to really set the mood. I'm using this peony and cherry blossom candle and using my freaking amazing lighter. I love this lighter. Hopping into the bathroom, I'm clipping my hair back and then going in with my deep cleansing oil from DHC. This is just going to really break down the makeup that I'm already wearing so I can have a clean surface to work with. I'll see you soon. Once I'm done with that, I'll go into my Garnier waterproof micellar water and I'll just take off the excess makeup that is now broken down. Then I'm going in with my Osea. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this type of cleanser. And then for my face mask, I'm trying my new one that Fenty actually sent me. I was so excited to try it. It is their Cherry Dub Mask. I was so, so excited to try this. It looked so freaking cool. I haven't really been in the know with skincare, so I didn't even know Fenty dropped this new mask. So I was so excited to see it in my mailbox. And this mask is very, very lightweight on the skin. And I like masks like this for more of a consistent use. Although I love those like tight mud masks, those ones can irritate my skin if i use them too often so these ones are nice for more of a consistent once a week type thing apply this all over my face and then i'll put my pixie under eye mask right on top And then I began to run a bath. I used my Dove bubble bath in the Pampering Coconut and Cocoa set. And I love a lot of bubbles in my bath. I'm going to be so real with you guys. I do not like baths. Like it is actually so hard for me to take them. I just prefer regular showers. But I really just do it for the vibe. And I probably do a bath like once a year. And to be honest, I really just wanted to take this one because Lush sent me these bath bombs a while ago. And I never got the chance to use them. So I wanted to try them out. And of course, they work amazing. All Lush products really do. And then in the bath, really the only thing i do is read i've been meaning to read this book atomic habits by james clear i've started it but haven't really gotten to the bulk of it so i was able to chip away at a lot of it in this little bath sitting this is such a good book i highly recommend if you're trying to build better habits and then i just kind of sat there and relaxed and then i got kind of anxious because i hate sitting in baths so i decided to just take my shower and wash it all off whenever i take a bath i always have to take a shower afterwards because i never really feel clean but i went in with my daily hygiene stuff i think i've shown these products all the time on my channel but my olaplex shampoo my whey conditioner my vanilla scrub and my eos shave cream i have a self-care video on my channel that i uploaded i think maybe a month ago so i'll have that link down below but i show basically all of these products and when i'm out of the shower i'll just go in with my summer fridays lip balm and my whey leave-in conditioner for my hair i love this stuff it makes my hair smell so good and perfumey I'll brush my hair through just to get rid of any knots and tangles. And then when I'm done with that, I'll go in with my Fenty Skin Body Butter. Another thing that Fenty sent me, I feel like they freaking spoil me. This is my first time smelling this stuff and using this stuff. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. I've had a Fenty Body Butter in the past, but I only had the mini, so I feel like I really didn't like it only because now I know I just wasn't really using it enough. It was so tiny, so I was like sparingly using it. And not saying that you have to use a lot of this product because you really don't, but once you actually use the product, it is so, so nice and buttery on the skin. Like it's called a butter drop for a reason. And then I went in with my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is my favorite moisturizer. Then I go in with my snail mucin and just gently pat that on my skin. I feel like this gives my skin a really, really nice glow. And then I'll go in with my daily Kiehl's under eye cream, which I love. And that is kind of it for the skincare part. 
Okay, so we're currently in my kitchen and it is dessert bowl time. I can't even express the joy I feel about making this. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna start off with some Skinny Pop popcorn and pop this in the microwave. This is gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut-free, preservative-free, no artificial dyes or flavors. <laughs> A freaking chef. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Put the peanut butter cups in the freezer. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Ah, frick, I did it again. <laughs> Taste test. Like popcorn. And then I'm gonna add some of these Good Life, I think they're called Good Life, Good Life chocolate chips. They're literally dairy-free, nut-free, egg-free, gluten-free, fucking, at this point, chocolate-free. So I'm gonna add a sprinkle of these. Then I'm gonna add in a few of the dark chocolate covered pretzels. And then a good handful of my peanut M&Ms. I don't know what it is, but something about M&M's specifically in popcorn, so good. Like a good handful of this. Look at me, go to Ramsey. And then, yesterday I made yogurt bark. I was gonna make some tonight, but I forgot that I already had some left over from yesterday. This is what it looks like. It's Oikos Protein Vanilla Yogurt. It has like 23 grams of protein in it. It was Good Life mini chocolate chips, sliced strawberries and blueberries, as well as some Nature's Valley protein granola. And then I think I did a little drizzle of honey. Peace. And then I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle with just water and ice. Look at this cover I have for my Stanley. Isn't it so cute? Look at how scrum deliumptious this looks. It's literally just popcorn and chocolate. Alrighty, so I didn't think I was gonna do my lashes in today's video, but when I was in the shower, I got so much soap in my eye that I just knew I had to do a fresh set. I'm not gonna go in depth about the products and the steps and how I basically applied everything because in my last video, I really went into depth. So I'll have that video up in the cards as well as linked down below if you wanna check it out and know exactly how I did my lashes. But I love doing my own lash extensions at home and I'll keep them in for a few days and kind of switch it out. It's a lot of fun and I think they always come out pretty good. And next up, I decided to do my first ever at home pedicure i always kind of done my nails at home i've been doing my nails at home for so so long but i haven't done my own pedicure at home so this was kind of a flop but i know i'll get better at it i master it i'll do a whole video dedicated to how to do your own pedicure at home but basically i just ordered one of these pedicure bowls and filled it with hot water and then added my dub bubble bath as well as dub epsom salt and let my feet soak in there and then i went in with this little paddle scrubber that i also got from timu and y'all this thing was cheeks like i did not like this little scrubber it just was not abrasive enough for me if you have very very sensitive heels and i mean like very sensitive then maybe this might work good for you because it is that gentle but if you're somebody like me and you need at least a little scrub this will not be your favorite but it's okay because i only ordered one and it was literally like 50 cents and then i bought these little foot brushes and these are multi-purpose you can use these for a lot of things but i wanted to just scrub at the actual toe and keep it nice and polished and clean after i I was done cleaning them up i went in with a whole set of tools my toes actually weren't that bad they just weren't painted but i still wanted to give them some pre-care so i started off by gently pushing my cuticles back and then taking a cuticle cutter and very gently cutting off the extra dead skin i don't go crazy with this i'm not like a russian manicurist they do it really good but i try to clean it up a little bit Next, I'll take a file and just file out my nails. Like I said, my toenails weren't super long or anything, so I didn't need to go in and cut them in my opinion. So I just filed them gently down and I try to keep a semi-square shape. I wanna be able to have them like really, really sharp square. That'll be one day. And then I also shaved like the knuckle area. I hate the word knuckle, by the way. So that like actually pained me to say. And then this is where I done messed up. I took my Beatles foundation. This is a base coat and I just put way too much on. Like that was the problem is I flooded my nail way too much. When you put it underneath the uv light it's gonna harden into like a gel so even though the base coat is clear if you make any mistakes when you paint over it you will be able to see because the paint will cling onto it and so since i flooded like my cuticle area and around my toenail it just looked super messy in the end but you know what you live and you learn so just don't flood your nail like i did but i of course do white toes i think i only do white toes i use this gel lacquer from nail supply glamour i really really like it it's just a plain white color and i just painted my nails if you are a little bit messy like i am you could always take a q-tip with some nail polish remover but i didn't have that so i just left it as is and i don't think they look that bad 
Of course, I had to make my sleepy girl mocktail. If you're on TikTok, I'm sure you've seen this, but it's just a mixture of cherry tart. And then you're gonna take a prebiotic soda and then magnesium powder. Or if you're like me, just crush up the magnesium tablets. And this is actually pretty good. I was afraid that it was gonna be super tart. Just because if you had 100% cranberry juice, like you know it's super, super tart. But it was actually kind of sweet. I liked it. And 100% I will be making it again. And to finally unwind, I just sipped on my little hot girl mocktail and read a book. I decided to read 101 essays that will change the way you think. It's by Brianna Weiss. I'm sorry if I'm saying her last name wrong. I'm actually reading three different books by her right now. She is absolutely amazing and just has such a way with words, but she just has a really healthy outlook and perspective on life. But that was it for today's video. I do hope that this was motivating for you to take some time for yourself. And with that being said, I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.